You know what we're here for. We do have to talk football. We love talking football. That's why we get together and enjoy this kind of thing. And, hey, there's not much to talk about, but there is something to talk about. My man Kyler Murray gets paid. Absolutely. Five-year extension worth a total of 230.5 mil. Oh, my goodness. Kyler, congratulations, sir. You got your money. The highest paid QB in, in the league right now. Um, second. Uh, second. Second? Yeah, Aaron, Aaron Rodgers technically Rogers, so. is more. Yeah. But his the it, it's only like that because of the voidable years. Yeah. He's actually ah, making you. less annually. But because of the voidable years, it shows that he makes 50 mil a year. But that's not yeah. the cap hit. And it's. It's, it's but, really weird. Uh, but, yes, yeah. technically. <laughs> you know how they like, manipulate like, right. like, the numbers. To make them work. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> These voidable years, like, change every – it's crazy. Yeah. But, but still, okay, so this is big money. He's like, it's massive yeah. money. Right. You know, you know, you know, you know what I find funny about these quarterback contracts? The fact that he – if you look at it, so he's not the second highest paid. He jumped Deshaun Watson by 100000 a year. Just oh. that, not a million a year, not two million, a yeah. hundred thousand, just so he could say he's the like that's, what's that's the biggest with contract. Lamar. It's just one, yep. one, one little bar above. That's what that's what happen. Lamar's contract I think will do too. He'll just make like a hundred more, and it's like just, just to say like, look at my point I'm top. two. Yeah, is that over your right. point one. <laughs> Ridiculous, man. But I mean, but I, I I gotta say this begs the question. I hey, as a fantasy owner, and I know we're gonna talk a little fantasy later. Uh, I was highly disappointed. He was out mm-hmm. half the year for me. I had to sit here and, and you know, shuffle in Wentz or, or Hurt or whoever else I'm, I'm having because I can't depend on Kyler. And that's in two leagues. Okay, mm-hmm. so is he worth that? Because remember at the beginning of the summer, we were on this very show talking about Kyler has erased all of his social media that has said anything to do with uh, them, unlike them, unfollowed them. You know, was that just mind games to get to this? Or, I mean, what are y'all thoughts? Absolutely. <laughs> I think it was. Mm-hmm. But yeah. I I don't know. I don't pay attention to football money. I don't really care about the football money aspect of football as much as other people. So other people probably know a lot more than I do. I am not. I mean, is anyone shocked he got paid this? I don't think so. Are Cardinals fans really upset about it? It doesn't seem like it. It's the quarterback market, and you knew that's what was going to happen. I had said earlier that, like, if they they need to either, like, pay him right now, like, earlier in the off season, or, like, let it go. Because yeah. it's going to be – they just keep waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting. It's just going to get more and more and more and more and more. Because as people sign contracts, after Deshaun Watson signed that contract, he reset the quarterback market, and now look where you're at. Where if you would have paid him earlier, you probably could have gotten for less. But I'm not surprised by it. I like Kyler Murray. I don't – have a problem with Kyler Murray. I don't know that he's like gonna go win you a Super Bowl, but he's like a decent quarterback. There's a lot of things going for Kyler. I mean, he's each year in the league, the Cardinals have won three more games. So this is going into his fourth year. Each year he's won three more games, got to the playoffs last year. So uh I mean he's showing improvement every year. The team is showing improvement. So they've been successful with him. Right. He so can say, hey, part of that is me. Yeah. And obviously, I mean, they warranted the contract. Do I think I want my quarterback as the highest paid quarterback in the history of the game? Personally, no, but mm. it's it's similar to the Dak situation. Like Dak, it, it was when Dak was getting paid. When Dak was getting paid, it was like <laughs> you either pay him this or you let him walk because that's the quarterback market. Right. And so that's what right. it is with Kyler. It's like Kyler wants to be the highest paid guy. He thinks he's worth that. So it's like, pay me this money or I'm walking. And as a Cardinals fan, you either have to say, I'm okay with that and I'm going to ride it out with Kyler or I want to try it out in free agency. The di- the big difference between the Kyler and Dak situation, Dak wasn't trying to be the highest paid. He yeah. he didn't jump ahead of anybody. He didn't, not, none of that. Like he was like, I think he, when he signed his contract, he was like the second or third highest paid. So he didn't try for that number one spot. Uh, Kyler wanted the number one spot. He wanted to be the highest paid short man syndrome, whatever you want to call it. He, he needed to be that guy. Um, in in yeah. the long term, it's going to – Yeah, brother, look. Yeah. Um, I don't – I mean, it's proved the last, what, 15 years or something. I mean, I think it goes back even further than that. If you have a top five quarterback, 
money wise, contract wise, yeah. you don't win. So yeah. you don't win at all, which is, I mean, the ultimate goal. So that's my thing. I don't really want my guy to be that guy because it just takes too much of the salary cap. It's a team game. You can have the best quarterback in the league, Green Bay Packers, and not win. Like it's just, yeah. it is what it is. You need a team around it. So if your quarterback is going to take up 35% of your salary cap, you got to fill 51 other spots with 65%. So it's, uh, you're not going to have as good a talent. And it, the, the watch that, I mean, look at the Chiefs. The Chiefs are falling apart. They're losing a lot of pieces because Mahomes is massive contract and they can't pay guys. So mm-hmm. it's, it's, it's not the right way in. the league is going, mm-hmm. but it, it can't sustain this way because the goal in the league is to win. And if you can't win like this, something's got to give. Yeah. What's going to, what's going to give first? Is a team just going to let a guy like uh, Trevor Lawrence walk? Because they can't win it all, and he wants to be a top paid guy, and he's going to go walk into a situation like Matthew Stafford and the Rams, get paid, go into a, a team that's already built, and then win there. Is that what's going to start happening? Is just the the moving quarterbacks, or I can see that. are teams going to are guys going to take less money so they can win, a la Tom right. Brady? Mm-hmm. Right. So I mean, it's it's a very interesting time, I think, because yeah. guys want their money. Which hey, I don't blame you. Go get your go get your bag but it's proven i mean as of now that if you go get your bag you're not gonna win so it's like right. what do you want to sacrifice mm-hmm. whereas like and right. the nba is a great sorry i know i'm going on a tangent here but i got a lot good hey <laughs> let it out brother let it out <laughs> this is a safe space man <laughs> the uh the nba is a great example for it's that's what the nba was doing everybody's seeking the max contracts going to get that money James Harden just took 15 mil a year less because he mm-hmm. wants a ring and he realizes he's been chasing the bag and he's been getting all this money, but he ain't winning. And he's right. like, Nope, I need money. I want to ring. I want to win. I'm going to take less money so we can build a team so we can go compete. And I think, yeah. I think that eventually happens in the NFL. I hope, um, I hope for the Steelers sake, if Kenny Pickett's a top five guy in four years and he wants his bag, mm. I I'm hoping and praying that we mm. negotiate. I mean, the Steelers don't usually pay top money, but now we have the highest paid safety in the league and we have the highest paid defender in the league in TJ Watt. So we're going to see, I'll see, we'll see what happens. You guys throw your money in the defense, not necessarily. We have the 32 ranked uh, highest paid offense in the league. Yeah. The okay. lowest paid offense in the league is in the state. Yeah. So the money is not a bad thing. There. I don't yeah, that's great. Yeah. That contract right. is mighty fine right. now. Like, how does not always need to ring. <laughs> yeah, and that's what that's what she that's what he was saying about Tom Brady taking the pay cut and everything like that. And look, honestly, mm-hmm. it's a lot of media filled, you know, hysteria about getting these checks. Getting mm-hmm. oh, this guy just got paid this, so that means the next person. You know, they're setting mm-hmm. these standards of these bars that are continuing to climb, and and it's ridiculous because, like you said, it's proven that you know more money. Uh, sorry, Biggie. Like, more money, more problems. I mean, that, that, I can't go any other way than just to say it like that. But I mean, you it just like you said, if 35% is going here, you got 65% to take care of the rest of the team, it's gonna be it's gonna be difficult. Uh, but the, it's interesting to think, what about uh our boy? Uh, we talk about this guy all the time, Mr. Lamar Jackson, who's now sitting back and waiting to his, to his benefit. That man gonna... is counting dollar bills. Yeah, oh, that's it. Oh, yeah. He his resume, you put his resume up next to Kyler's, and you're like, Oh, this dude needs to get paid. Well, that's the market yeah. sit there and be like, I'm better than that guy, and look what that guy just got for money. So let's right. go. I have a league MVP, so yeah. give me my money. And right. I mean, 100 percent he's absolutely gonna get a bag, which as a Steelers fan, for the reasons I just said, <laughs> not, once your quarterback is paid, you're not gonna be as competitive there as you is. were before. There it I'm is. I'm excited for it. I think he deserves <laughs> it. Uh, I mean, he's gonna make. He should get paid. Yes, the quarterback market is. But just it's gonna insane. ruin. The, it's gonna yeah. ruin the Ravens, in my opinion, yeah. because of the reasons I just laid out. Yep. Yeah, that's too much money going to one central thing. You're not gonna have money to give to other people, and we already have seen certain people are jumping ship. You know, Hollywood Brown going elsewhere because he wants to bag and look loyalty at the end of the day i think is something that is is definitely going to be tested in this situation and i mean you've seen it in college football the transfer portal is flooded with players going oh i'm going to go over here i'm going to go to this stuff stuff happens in high school as well and the coaches are are, are guilty of it too uh mr lincoln riley now at usc used to be at oklahoma and he kind of just you know hey all right didn't have a good year i'm rolling out you know what i mean i'll see y'all later yeah 
you know I what see I mean? These so young guys, I feel like are all about like, oh, I'm gonna get paid. It's all about the money right now. It's all a money grab. Uh, I mean, and uh, if I was in this situation, I'd want all the money too. I'm trying to set up generational wealth. I'm trying mm-hmm. to like, I don't want my grandkids to have to worry about money, like stuff like that. So. I completely understand the player's aspect of it. And then the other thing, the number one person in like a player's ear when it comes to this stuff is their agent. Mm -hmm. And the agent is every agent out there wants to be the best agent. So the agent's like, if I'm going to get you the best contract, I'm going to get you, you're going to be the highest paid player. And it's going to be my name as your agent is the one that just got you the highest paid. That way I can go get somebody else. So the agent's not, in the their ear because that's the, the, the guy doing the negotiation doing stuff like. that's the guy doing the negotiation for the player with the team so it's not the player negotiating and the agent is all about the money the agent right. doesn't care about rings yeah. the agent's like i want to get i want to have the highest paid player on my roster so mm-hmm. when college kids are coming up and they need an agent hey look i just signed this dude to the highest contract i just exactly. signed that dude to the highest contract you want exactly. me as your agent and so that's it. all that is yeah. going to do is boost contracts more because the agents aren't going to budge and they're going to be like fine trade us we'll go i'll go i'll go get the money i know somebody's going to pay me yeah. right and then you have a tyreek hill situation you have him nice. going to miami who it's just like a, uh, okay really go back on a rookie deal so they can do it <clears throat> you know I, and there you go that that is how it plays out thanks for watching if you like that clip be sure to check out the other great content from the let's talk football community and as always please like subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when more great content like this becomes available.